Platelets are the smallest blood element that do a big job. They are not true cells, but fragments of a bigger cell. If you have ever asked the question, what are platelets? Or even if you haven't, we're not picky. Stay and see what the fuss is about. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and welcome to HeMed. The platelet is a small non-cell that is a major component of hemostasis, the process of blood clotting due to vascular injury. When you first start learning to read blood films, they are easy to overlook. But as you begin to learn more, you realize how important they actually are. At the microscope, resting platelets are usually smaller than red blood cells with a granular appearance. They are circular, sometimes irregularly shaped with a lavender color. To truly understand platelets, we need to start with the bone marrow and megakaryocytes. Megakaryocytes are the largest cells in the bone marrow. These cells derive from the common myeloid progenitor cell and share the same stem cell as the red blood cells. The stages of maturation are the megakaryoblast, promegakaryocyte, granular megakaryocyte, and the mature megakaryocyte. The megakaryoblast is small with scant cytoplasm, nucleoli, and no visible granules. The promegakaryocyte has increased cytoplasm, few azerophilic granules, and indented or bilobed nucleus. The granular megakaryocyte has an abundant granular cytoplasm, which is acidophilic in color with a large multi-lobed nucleus. The mature form is very large with a multi-lobed nucleus and abundant highly granular cytoplasm. It also has demarcation zones present which are the cytoplasmic divisions that are going to be future platelets. As a note, you should never really see megakaryocytes in the peripheral blood. If you do, investigate immediately. Platelets form from the fragmentation of the megakaryocyte cytoplasm, which then get released into the blood circulation. If you're thinking, well that seems simple, it isn't. I have skipped many steps, but you get the gist of it. This fragmentation is the reason that platelets are considered not true cells, but elements. There are usually 150 to 400 platelets circulating in the blood, and they have a lifespan of eight to nine days. A third of the body's platelets are sequestered in the spleen so that they are available in moments of high demand, such as acute inflammation or injury. The main function of platelets are to form a platelet plug in response to vascular injury. The steps of this process are adhesion, aggregation, and secretion. Adhesion is the process of the platelets adhering to the exposed collagen at the site of injury. Aggregation is when the platelets start to attach to each other. Secretion is when the platelets release their granules, which call more platelets to the injury, initiate and control the coagulation cascade, the fibrinolytic system, and help with adhesion, among other things. The steps seem linear, but in reality, it can all happen at the same time and are significantly more complicated. So today, we went through a very surface overview of the platelet. In future videos, we'll go over some of the disorders and diseases that can be seen at the microscope associated with this blood element. Comment if you have any questions or if you learned something new. References are in the description box. Subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time.